Well, hello to all you smart and beautiful people on the interwebs who love miniature painting. I'm Doc Young. It is a Monday, and I'm here to ramble about my miniatures. <clears throat> Specifically, it's Monday the 29th of May, 2023. Another month almost over, and we have a whole slew of finished stuff here. Mostly Reaper Bones from the fan favorites box in in the Bones 5 Kickstarter. That was handily speed painted. So we have these mostly red little demons. We have these axolotls. And we have the the sort of mechanical sort of brass golems sort of things. Robot-like entities. And then we have Crystal from House of Pea Miniatures that I put a little bit more work into. This is a resin kit, supposedly 54 millimeter scale. And uh, let's see if we can, where's the focus? Uh, oh, well, you'll, you'll see still pics at the end of her. She's kind of a little drab looking, um, mostly sort of military green. A little brown, a little beige, a little gray blue here and there. Um, didn't want to make her look completely out of place on a battlefield, even though she is kind of a pinup. She she still has a lot of gear, tactical gear on her, even if it's not maybe the most uh, sort of suited for purpose. Uh, she, she's not a complete pinup, you know, she's not undressed or anything like that. Um, anyway, all of these will have a lot more picks at the end. And this is probably another new record for this year. I, I haven't been quite keeping track, but it's, it's, uh, four, nine, twelve. Well, oh, it's probably not a record. It's 13 minis. That's quite a lot, but... Uh, not, not like, I mean, compared to previous years, at least some, some of the summer month, summer weeks, I've been able to crank out that much or more. So it's a good amount, more than my average for this, uh, school semester, but yeah. Anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to downplay it anymore. <laughs> I'm happy with the number of miniatures I finished. So let's move on to works in progress. So here we see various... <clears throat> Bones miniatures from the Reaper Bones 5 Kickstarter fan favorites boxed expansion set that have been prepped. <clears throat> now the undercoating might look a little rough, especially on these Gator men, but it'll be smoothed out in the process, I assure you. And it will look better when it's done. Uh, here on, on the wild folk or whatever they're called I've done a little bit of work on the hair yeah, but that's about it um, yeah hopefully progress will be made <laughs> not much else to say about these actually they were not troublesome and here comes the demonic lasher reaching out for us with his tentacle arms uh, <clears throat> he's just he's cleaned and assembled uh, he's not primed yet and that's because there's a bunch of gap filling to do I don't know if you can tell but look, there's a gap there at the tail from this angle it's a pretty big gap unfortunately um, where the arms attach and where the heads attach there is, oops. there's um, some smaller gaps, but the big one is there, there at the, at the base of the tail. Um, <clears throat> I'm not sure. If he's not unbalanced. It's that he's he's off center on the base, very much so, reaching out towards the front. The reason it's not physically unbalanced is that the the tail is glued into the base there, so he he's not going to fall over. I'm not sure how I feel about this. Um, it, it does look sort of dynamic, I suppose. Um, well, eh, it's interesting. And anyway, 
need some do some green stuff work and some some maybe some um, a little, uh, well uh, some plastic putty mostly and maybe a little bit of green stuff not sure but we'll get this guy up and running by next week Okay, let's inventory some old stuff. This box contains 23 minis, and it is a mix of stuff from different comp companies, and the um, common thread is that they're all duplicates. They're all miniatures that I, for some reason, <clears throat> received multiple copies of, either intentionally or unintentionally, like Brother Ham, and I think I've painted him twice already. Um, we have <clears throat> a miscast... Hasselfree mini that I got as a bonus mini. They sometimes do that when 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 models are not perfectly cast. They just give them away to their customers as a bonus. And I and I've already painted this guy before. Mrs. Claus I've painted before. This Discworld miniature I've painted before. So yeah, uh, as you can see, it's it's a it's a grab bag of stuff. <laughs> And I am definitely not painting anything from this box anytime soon. What I will be painting is this new box of stuff that I got in the mail today. This is my latest order from Heresy Minchers in a small company in the UK. These are all metal minis uh, with tabs for use in slaughter bases. I'm probably not going to use the slaughter bases for them. I'm going to use uh, various resin scenic bases I have. And the common commonality of all these is it it's their latest models uh, the latest um, additions to their catalog that have a sci-fi theme and I think it's a high time I paint some sci-fi stuff it's been a long it's been a long while of only fantasy so yeah there's 15 miniatures in here and why not I'll just prep all of them might as well um, might bloat my queue very much but oh anyway I'll, I'll just have to throttle back in coming weeks if it proves too much for me to handle but I think I can handle it so with that I've finished another week's episode hope you are willing to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and comment and uh, above all, be back here next week. Same day of the week, same channel, same Dakia. But for now, I'm signing off. <laughs>